Hi everyone. Today's topic is solving second order linear differential equations using the method of variation of parameters. So we will first look at the formula which is used for solving such equations and then we will solve some examples. So far we had studied second order linear differential equations of the type y2 dash plus py dash plus qy is equal to rx where our p and q were constants and the right hand side was either 0 or it was of the form e to the power ax or sin x cos x or it was a combination or a polynomial. Now today what we are going to do is what if p and q are not necessarily constant and there is no restriction on rx then how do we solve so let's begin given a second order differential equation y2 dash plus py dash plus qy is equal to rx we know that the general solution is given by yx is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 now if we can take c1 and c2 to be some functions v1x and v2x and find them. These are unknown to us. And replace c1 and c2 by v1, v2, we can find the solution. What is the method? Just let's look at that. First thing we do is we will take the right hand side of our given differential equation to be 0 and find the general solution. From that, we will take y1 and y2. Next, we'll find the Ronskian W and use the Ronskian to find our unknown functions V1 and V2. V1 is found by solving the integral minus Y2RX upon W dx and V2 is nothing but integral Y1RX upon W dx. We find the general solution by using the formula y is equal to v1 y1 plus v2 y2. Let's look at some examples. In the first example, we are asked to solve y2 dash minus 2y dash plus y is equal to 2x. Now here, we'll reduce the right hand side to 0, which will give us the homogeneous differential equation y2 dash minus 2y dash plus y is equal to 0. The auxiliary equation will be m square minus 2m plus 1. We will get two roots, repeated roots 1 and 1. This gives us the general solution c1 e to the power x plus c2 x e to the power x. From here, we get y1 as e to the power x and y2 as x e to the power x. How did we do that? We have just compared it to our general solution c1 y1 plus c2 y2. Once we get y1 and y2, find the Ronskian. So you are just forming the determinant y1, y2 dash minus y2, y1 dash. Differentiate y1 and y2, put it in the formula, you will get it as e to the power 2x. Now v1 is integral minus y2 rx upon w. Substitute y2, which is x e to the power x. Right hand side rx is nothing but 2x. Ronskian turned out to be e to the power 2x. So we get an integral minus 2 integral x square e to the power minus x dx. Solve the integral. You can do it by parts. It's a simple one. This is what we get. 2x square e to the power minus x plus 4x e to the power minus x plus 4 e to the power minus x. Same way we find v2 which is integral y1 rx upon w dx. Substituting y1 and rx and w we get the integral as 2 integral x e to the power minus x. This is a much simpler integral than this. And we get the integral value as minus 2x e to the power minus x minus 2 e to the power minus x. All we have to do is put v1 and v2 in the formula y is equal to v1 y1 plus v2 y2. v1 y1 v2 y2 all are known to us. After substituting, the general solution on simplifying becomes y is equal to 2x plus 4. Now here, in second example, you see the differential equation is y2 dash plus 4y is equal to tan 2x. Now this is, you know, right hand side is neither sin x or cos x or exponential or a polynomial. So 
we can still solve it using this method. The homogeneous equation when formed is y2 dash plus 4y is equal to 0. This gives us the auxiliary equation as m square plus 4 is equal to 0. Two roots of this equation are plus minus 2i. General solution you know will be c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x. And here cos 2x is a y1 and sin 2x is a y2. We find the Ronskian, find the derivatives, Ronskian comes out to be 2. V1 comes out to be on substituting y2 as minus sin 2x, right hand side as tan 2x and Ronskian as 2 as minus sin square 2x upon 2 cos of 2x. What we've done is we have just opened up tan of 2x. Then write sin square 2x as 1 minus cos square 2x for simplifying the integral. Divide the integral will be minus half integral sec 2x minus cos 2x. This gives us minus 1 by 4 log sec of 2x plus tan x. And the second integral, integral of cos of 2x will be sin of 2x upon 2. We have just written it in a simple form here. Same way find v2. V2 is a simpler integral. Y1 is cos of 2x. Rx, the right hand side, is tan 2x. Rosenskin is 2. Integral comes out to be minus 1 by 4 cos of 2x. Substitute V1, Y1, V2, Y2 in your general solution Y. We will get the solution as Y is equal to minus cos 2x upon 4 log sec of 2x plus tan 2x. We'll do one more example. In all these problems, it's the main thing is solving the integrals, finding the v1 and v2 values, which take time. Otherwise, these questions are very simple. Here in the third example, we're asked to solve y2 dash plus 2y dash plus y is equal to e to the power minus x log x. Now you see right hand side rx is of a different form than sin x cos x or a polynomial or e to the power x alone. Homogeneous equation of this is y2 dash plus 2y dash plus y is equal to 0. This gives the auxiliary equation m square plus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. Two values of m are minus 1 minus 1. General solution is c1 is equal to e to the power minus x plus c2 x e to the power minus x. y1 from here is e to the power minus x and y2 is x e to the power minus x. You know that the term attached with c1 is a y1. The term attached with c2 is a y2. Find the Ronskian after differentiating y1 and y2. Put them in w. We get this as e to the power minus 2x. v1 is minus. Put y2 which is x e to the power minus x. rx which is e to the power minus x log x upon the Ronskian e to the power minus 2x. This gives the integral minus x log x dx. This is again a simple integral. It comes out to be minus x square upon 2 log x plus x square upon 4. We find v2 by putting y1 and rx and w in the integral for v2. We get e to the power minus x right hand side e to the power minus x log x upon the Ronskin e to the power minus 2x dx. This is nothing but integral of log x which is nothing but x log x minus x. Substitute v1, y1 and v2, y2 in your formula for general solution y. On simplifying, we get y is equal to e to the power minus x, x square upon 4 brackets 2 log x minus 3. Thank you for watching. For other courses, you can check my website www.profprithivajpay.com. The next topic is the operator method for finding particular solutions.